Ain't no such thing as you got sin. Because God says sin can't tear it inside. So, Pastor Baker, if sin is in you, you cannot go by with God. You care how much the Holy Ghost and tongue talking you doing. How much the Holy Ghost you don't live. God don't want you spotted. And see, this day and time now, we just think we can indulge with the world. He done told us, come out from them, be separate, say the Lord. And we don't want to be separate. We want God to just, he love us all. But if love is going to get us there, don't you know we wouldn't have to worry about getting saved? His love is genuine. Say, nothing shall separate us from his love. Nothing can separate us. So if love going to get us there, well, what's the need to come in there living right? Because love going to eat love the sinner too. So if love going to make me holy and get me in the kingdom, child, please, everybody can party. But that's not what the word say. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall be saved. That means delivered. So, just because God loves the sinner don't mean that he's going to that they going back with him. And this is what the Christians think today. Just because God is love. They think everything. Love going to conquer all. Love is just going to outdo sin. Love going to get you in there anyway. But well, you not read. If it had not been for the shedding of the blood, there will be no re remission of sin, no forgiving of sin. If it had not been the shedding of the blood, it had to be shedding of the blood. The love couldn't do it by itself. So he had to be willing to die in order to wash you and I clean. Even though our sins was red as Christmas. He said, Lord, but I'll wash you white as snow. All because of the blood. Oh, the blood that reaches <laughs> to the lowest valley. How the most she? The love of Jesus. That blood that washes us. It ain't his love washes, it's the blood. The blood.